a new way to fight crime. Now dozens of cameras will be placed throughout the San Fernando Valley to help catch thieves. Yeah, those cameras have actually led to arrest of murder suspects in other areas. Let's go to KCON News reporter Cara Fincham. She's live in Puerto Ranch with what this means for a driver. Cara, a lot of people are not happy about this as well. Yeah, some people are nervous about these cameras. The big hope here is to track criminals, and the cameras can be attached to police cars or to poles or to traffic lights like these. 100 are going to be placed throughout the northwest San Fernando Valley. Take a look. The Beverly Hills PD, other departments are already using automated license plate readers, or AL. PRs. They say the cameras let them track, record the plates of vehicles that drive through. The system then uses optical character recognition to compare the plates with hot lists of vehicles of interest. Investigators say the data stored can also help connect serial crimes. But the councilman representing this area is also reassuring locals there's one thing the cameras won't do. I'd like to stress that these are not traffic cameras. They're not going to be used to ticket drivers and will be used specifically to help our law enforcement partners conduct their investigations more efficiently. The technology is similar to what you see at some shopping centers where the gates lift up once you pay for your parking. Beverly Hills PD says their system helped with the arrest of a suspect in a San Dimas murder. Officers stopped him after he drove into their city. The technology also led to arrest in the murder of Jacqueline Avant two years ago as well as robbery suspects in a smash and grab at a Lakewood Home Depot. Supporters say these cameras can send photos right to officers' phones so fewer drivers matching vague descriptions are stopped. But the ACLU has not been a fan, saying the cameras infringe on the public's right to not be monitored, and they claim they have led to erroneous stops. And uh, back out here live, there will be a news conference here later this morning where we should learn more about when these cameras will go operational. Hmm. All right, Cara, thank you.